Welcome back, everyone. A BYU researcher is studying Alzheimer's among a group that is rarely included in testing. New specialist Tema Vaifanua tells us why this project hits close to home. Christina Tavana is a PhD student born and raised in Samoa. She's one of several scientists developing Alzheimer's tests for Utah Pacific Islanders in their native languages, building their trust as they work to address a public health gap. Justina Tavana knows the impact of Alzheimer's on families. It has. It has. I have a couple aunts and then uh, even just close family friends. We're such a tight-knit community, right? And we like to take care of our own. It's motivated her to make Alzheimer testing more inclusive. She works with BYU scientists on the Natives Engaged in Alzheimer's Research Project, studying Pacific Islanders and Native Americans. There haven't been any studies conducted in any of these groups before. Fluent in Samoan and Tongan, Tavana has translated diagnostic testing materials in those languages. A lot of these people have lived here in the States and speak English perfectly, but it makes such a difference when they walk in and see that people from their communities and that people that speak their languages. Almost 7 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease, a progressive brain disorder with no cure. Perry Ridge is a BYU associate professor in the Department of Biology. It's a really big challenge, uh, both for the affected individual as, as well as their family members. And I kids started noticing my husband's symptoms back in 2017 to 18. Mila Tofa's husband, Sam, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's six years ago. Starting to make up stories, he was missing stuff, he was getting aggressive, and he was he was different. He thought he was just memory lapse. Mila's daughter quit school to help out so they can keep him home safely. It's a 24-hour service, but sometimes it's hard. I didn't have any chains or anything. She has found answers at one of Tavana's brain health fairs. It really opened my eyes to many resources and opportunities that are out there for our Polynesian communities. It a sign for Tavana to carry on this work. I've been talking about this for so many years, but I get emotional every time. We have such a deep sense of responsibility to our elders to take care of them. Sometimes asking for help has been hard. Researchers are halfway through this project. Their goal is to recruit 3,000 people to take part in the study. If you or someone you know might benefit from it, we'll put all that information on ksltv.com. For KSL News, I'm Tamara Vaifanua. All right, thanks, Tamara.